Ooh, happy day. I'm gonna take my exam and be done with the semester. Oh, happy day. If I do well. <laughs> so I have like a 92 in that class right now. Uh, um, for me, I bombed the midterm. I made like an 84 or something on it. And that, that bothered me. <clears throat> so anyway, the midterm and the final together will be 25% of my grade. My paper was 25% of my grade. My paper, I did well on, got a 95. 84, I need to do really good on this final to bring that up. And then I should end up with an A in that class. I ended up with an A in interpersonal relationship skills and uh, my evangelism class is a pass-fail. It's required for my scholarship. Anyway, once I get that done, uh, I have lots of stuff to get caught up on around here and some other things, but it's not the, the pressure. And then I'm taking a preaching class next semester, just the one class, uh, which I think will be, be good. So here we are. I think it's day 359. Day 359. And... Uh, I think it's been fun. I've started planning out uh, the first couple of weeks of videos uh, for how this transitions. Again, there'll still be a little bit of the, uh, the, the journal type stuff, but for the most part, it'll be a different story of something I'm following each day. And what I'm going to do is create some playlists uh, so that people can follow Bonsai, so they can follow my subscription box, uh, or they can follow um, different things. Um, if there's a particular interest that has brought them to my, my page, I'm all over the place. Uh, I noticed in the analytics that some people search and they find like the Bible video, or they search and they find Jordan, Montana. So when I have a story or a, a video that's specific to those um, topics, they'll go into that playlist. And hopefully it'll be a little more organized, uh, but you'll still be able to keep up with what I'm doing uh, from day to day. And if I miss a day, I won't feel bad about it like I do now. I feel really bad if I miss a day and don't get it posted, uh, which I'm gonna talk about in my first video and how that creates a little bit of added pressure um, for me, I, but it, I've done it to myself. Um, it would be the same if I was writing a journal and I skip a day. I'm like, oh no, I just skipped a day. Anyway, it's time to go run. And then I think I'll see you guys when I get to the office. All right, we're down here at the church now. And uh, it's actually been quite a while. A lot has happened since I saw you last. Uh, I finished my run on the treadmill, got uh, ready for the day, came down uh, to the church and started uh, studying, went and checked the mail. My Amazon package was there, and uh, I tried on some of the things that I wanted to, and I think I found a way to keep uh, what the ones, the two things that I decided to keep. We'll see. I don't know how that's going to play out. Anyway, uh, I'll, I'll fill you in more on that. Um, when the new series starts, when we talk about uh, uh, my style upgrades and a couple of the subscription things that I've tried out. I've already tried uh, a couple of them and I've been unhappy, uh, but I'll share more with that when, uh, when the time comes uh, here pretty soon. Then uh, I had to go and uh, fix Sharon's laminator. Uh, the daycare was borrowing it and had a problem, but I fixed that, no problem. Then I got down here to the church, and I've been studying now for the past few hours. I'm going to study for another hour or so, and then um, attack this test, I guess. This is my final. <laughs> when you look at the uh, study guide for the final, uh, there is a lot of stuff. Basically, um, the student is responsible to gather the material, collect them as one need, reads, and views the notes, PowerPoints, uh, workbooks, 
notes from class, the readings. Uh, listen to this. This is funny. Uh, one needs to scour the notes and PowerPoints, textbooks, and outside readings for the information. Oh, wow. Need to know the content as they line up with what historical events are occurring, where it is happening, by whom, and why. Key events, places, and geographical locations. Oh, my, oh, my. Lots and lots of stuff. There's so much stuff on here. There's, I don't know how anybody could have all of this memorized. And then... Uh, one should be able to put in chronological order all nations that affected Israel from Assyria to um, Byz Byzantine, Byzantine. I don't know how you say that. Uh, I've only read the word. I've never heard anybody say it. Maybe I should look that up. Because um, there's, you know, YouTube. And then I have uh, the essay questions. There's supposed to be three essay questions on the test. So... Anyway, I'm going to be uh, studying a lot of this stuff and uh, trying to get that done for the rest of the day. Uh, I'll let you guys know when I get done. And you know what? Get this done. There's a Duke game at 7 o'clock. Try and catch that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, hello, church. Pastor KJ here. Um, coming to you for this uh, midweek meditation. Um getting ready to uh, take my last final for this semester and uh, just thought I would drop by and share with you a quick thought. Um, part of what we're studying uh, and part of what this test is on is the time when Jesus was on earth. Uh, we talked a lot about Old Testament stuff, but this particular time is when Jesus is here. One thing that I learned that I did not know before is that there were about five different sects of Judaism. Uh, think of it kind of like denominations of Judaism. Now, you are you and I are familiar with the Pharisees and the Sadducees. And of course, I give you that little easy way to remember which is which. Uh, the Pharisees were fair, you see, because they wanted to follow the rules. They were the legalistic group. The Sadducees were sad, you see, because they didn't believe in miracles or the resurrection. Um, in our mind, they are the more liberal of the group. Uh, and we're familiar with those, but there's also three other groups uh, that I had not known about uh, that has been uh, eye op not eye-opening, but very helpful in understanding some things. Uh, one of those was called the Essenes, uh, and we know them because that is the group that uh, protected uh, what we now call the Dead Sea Scrolls. They were a group of monk-type people who separated themselves from the modern society, and they lived out by the Dead Sea. Uh, there was another group uh, called the Herodians, and uh, they were basically um, just normal, uh, normal people of that time period. Uh, they were more uh, focused on... Um, government success, and uh, they worked with the Roman government, and they were trying to um, really kind of make Israel a political power. Um, and then there's the last group called the Zealots. Now, we know that there were two disciples of Jesus, Jesus who were the Zealots, uh, Judas Iscariot and uh, Simon the Zealot. Uh, and this was a group that was extremely anti-Roman government. Uh, they refused to pay their taxes. They uh, fought any time that they could, and they were just, uh, they were extremely um, anti-Roman government. Now, uh, I bring all that to say this, is that I think Jesus had uh, people from each one of those groups in his, uh, in his disciples, and I can just imagine some of the discussions that were had around a little campfire or uh, when they were arguing with each other, as the Bible talks about, they were debating with one another oftentimes. And then Jesus would say something um, to clarify the issue. Now, here's what I wanted uh, to share with you and I thought to think about. Uh, and when you see those instances happen, uh, there are times that Jesus corrects and rebukes each one of those groups. Uh, there's also times when Jesus talks about some of the good in those particular groups. Uh, 
nobody had it all figured out. Nobody knew exactly what the right thing was, but they had to work together uh, in order to succeed. And then after Jesus was gone, apparently they did figure out how to make that work. Does it mean that all of the disagreements and all of the differences of uh, in the way that they thought went away? No, we see, we still see quite a bit of that. Um, but the the unity that Jesus prayed for, I think, is a little more obvious now to me, anyway. When I think about that, when I think about the wide diversity that's just within these twelve guys. I understand Jesus' prayer for unity a little bit more. All right, I'm about ready to start our test. Ran to the house to get uh, some LaCroix. This test, I can take up to two hours to take it. Um, so I got to put away all my notes and do that test. But I brought Rexy for emotional support. I'll see you guys on the other side well it's done um, most of the questions were uh, multiple choice true false matching and then there were three essay questions the three essay questions I have to wait for my instructor to grade but all the other questions I'm trying to remember how many there were there were like 35 in total or something like that and each one's given a certain number of points. Um, even if I get all the points on my essay questions, I think I'm going to end up with a low 90s. Um, when I went through there and and looked, so anyway, I mean it is what it is. It's a test, whatever. I'm going to pass the class. It's not. Uh, I'll pass the class, but I might have another B. I hate bees. Bees, 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 bees. Oh, the bees bother me. So, Rexy, what do you think about bees? Hmm. You don't mind? A lot of people don't mind bees. I didn't want to sound um, fluty there. Flu half a I don't know what the right word is. I don't want to sound like... People who get bees are bad people. Um, they just bother me. I like A's. I like A's a lot. But I know A's and B's are good. And if I graduate with my master's and have A's and B's, it's okay. I don't have to graduate with a 4.0. But Rexy, he held his own. He held his own, I have to say. He, he helped me out a little bit. So... We are going to load up all of our junk. It is now almost, uh, it's a quarter to seven. And uh, I'm going to go home and we'll do uh, stuff with the boys. I'll make this video. And then uh, we got to get up early in the morning because I have to be in Miles City by 8.10, which means we need to leave here by 7 o'clock at the latest. And that's if I speed a little bit. So we need to leave probably about uh, 6.45 to be right on. Ain't that right, Rexy? Rawr!